والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one O Lord of this blessed month we praise you for Ramadan each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one O Lord of this blessed month we praise you for Ramadan and for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light Inna alhamdulillah نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد Brothers and sisters in Islam, achieving sincerity is easy on those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy. You have to hope that you can achieve sincerity, insha'Allah, in your actions. في سنن الترمذي, when Abu Musa al-Ash'ari, رضي الله عنه, a companion, وهو من أهل الفتية, he is one of the people who narrated the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he was able to give religious ruling. When he is about to die, he told his children, "Ya bani, udkuru sahib al raghif." Talk to me, or remember the man with the loaf. So his children ask him, who is the man of the loaf? And then he started narrating this story. A'abid, someone from the followers of Isa, alayhi salam, who used to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 24-7, all the time in his hermitage, his sawma, his sanctuary. Rahib. And he used to go out half a day out of the week to purchase his provision for the rest of the week. So one day, he went out after he has worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for 60 years. And he saw a woman he got attracted to. And we know Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam warned us about the fitna of the woman. He committed adultery with her for six days. So he worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for 60 years, 24-7, all the time in his hermitage, in his sanctuary. And he committed that major sin for six days. Then he realized his major sin he felt the guilt. He felt bad. And he started asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive him. And he prescribed upon himself that he would take one step and then he would go down in prostration as an expiation for what he did. He kept doing this for a whole day until he got very tired. And he found himself around people Twelve miskeen, twelve needy people. Those needy people would gather every night at the end of the day in that location. And a rich person 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed and guided, that he would come and distribute to each one of those 12 miskins, needy people, one loaf of a bread. It was dark. This rahib, this worshipper, the one who worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for 60 days, and committed adultery for 6 days, found himself in the middle of those 12. Now he made the number 13. He became number 13. Now the person who came to distribute the loaves of bread, he did not recognize that they are 13. He ended up distributing loaves of bread. That rahib, that worshipper, ended up with a loaf. Now he ended up taking that loaf from another miskin. Because that rich person would bring only every day 12 loaves. So that miskin approached the rich person and said, I did not get my loaf today. So the rich person told him, I distributed everything. I distributed everything. And he left. You know what those, what this worshiper did at dark? He took that loaf of bread and he approached that miskin. And he told him, here is your loaf of bread. And after this, right away he dies. Look at this now. They placed his 60 years of worship in the scale. Worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for 60 years. And the six days of major sin, adultery, in the other pan of the scale, the major sin was heavier in the scale than his worship for 60 years. Then, listen to this carefully. They placed the act of giving that loaf of bread to the miskin at dark, at night. Meanwhile, he was able to confiscate it and take it away. They placed that act in the pan of the scale. And the 60 years of worship in the other pan of the scale, that act was heavier in the scale. Uh, uh, often they placed him committing adultery in one pan of the scale. And that act of giving the loaf of bread to the miskin in the other side of the scale, the act of giving back the loaf of bread, the loaf of the bread to the miskin was heavier in the scale than the six days of committing that major sin of adultery. Just one act, brothers and sisters in Islam. One act, sincerely, one act can take you to Jannah. Remember, اعلموا أنه لن يدخل أحدكم الجنة بعمله. None of you will enter Jannah because of your deeds. Your deeds are not the prize for Jannah. No, your deeds are conditions for Jannah. But you will enter Jannah because of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the hadith في صحيح البخاري من حديث أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, Rest assured that none of you will enter Jannah because of his deeds. The companions asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَلَا أَنْتَ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ حَتَّى أَنْتَ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ Not even you, O Messenger of Allah. He said, وَلَا أَنَا إِلَّا أَنْ يَتَغَمَّدَنِي اللَّهُ بِرَحْمَتِهِ Until, unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestows His mercy upon me. But the deeds are conditions for you to receive the mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters in Islam, with this, we have completed the meaning of La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah, the word of Tawheed. The word that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with it is proper understanding and to help us so that we can implement it. And the implementation of this word means that you are sincere in all that you do. You do what you do for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and no other associates. If you do this, then inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept the deed from you. Add to this, sincerity, brothers and sisters in Islam, relieve your hardships in this dunya. Listen to this story, and I may not have enough time to finish it, but at least I can finish some of it today for you. And the story in Sahih Imam al-Bukhari, من حديث عبد الله بن عمر رضي الله عنهما, 
a famous story that you all know, or the majority of you know, the three individuals who were traveling in the desert, and by all the sudden, a thunderstorm hit, and they seeked refuge inside that cave. And a rock, مِمَّا يَهْبِطُ مِنْ خَشْيَةِ اللَّهِ that falls down because of the mercy of because of the fear of Allah subhanahu wa taala, fall down and blocked the exit to that cave. Now, those three individuals are unable to come out. They knew that with their manpower, they cannot push that rock away so that they can make an exit for themselves out of that cave. But yet, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَبِتَغُوا إِلَيْهِ الْوَسِيلَةِ وَجَاهِدُوا فِي سَبِيلِهِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ They have to seek some of the means. And they thought about seeking their deeds. Invoking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the deeds that they did. So that maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remove the rock for them. But look what kind of deeds they looked for. They ask one another, let's dig out deeds that we done sincerely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's find out the deeds that we done sincerely. Because these are the deeds that will move the rock away so that we can go out. The first of them used to be a shepherd. And he used to have a habit, good one. Every night, he will come back home, milk his animals, his sheep, his goats, and then he will give to his father and mother, the elders, parents, parents will give them a drink before he even give to his children. One day, one of the sheep ran away. He had to look for it. He arrived late that day. He found his father and mother asleep. Yet, he did not want to break that habit. He wanted to do the same thing. He milked his animal. He prepared the drink for them. And at the same time, he did not want to wake them up. He did not want to disturb their comfort, their comfortable sleep. And his children are weaning and crying underneath him. He refused to give the drink to his children. And he refused to wake up his parents. And he stood all night long after spending the whole day looking for his sheep. Tired. And he knew that tomorrow he's going to have to take his flocks again outside where they can eat and drink. Look. He waited for his parents until they waked up in the morning. And then he gave them the drink. Look what he said. Oh Allah, if I have done this sincerely for you, move the truck. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused the truck to move a little bit, but not sufficient for the three of them, for the three of them to come out. Inshallah, in the episode to come, we continue on with that beautiful story which proves to you that sincerity can relieve your hardship and your distress in this dunya beside it can take you to Jannah, insha'Allah. Bi'idnillahi ta'ala, we will finish that story tomorrow in the next episode of Ramadan, your second chance. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book, you reveal therein to guide us to the light. By your grace you sent us this Quran each day that we recite. And for the book you reveal therein to guide us to the light.